So we came up to a goat show in Madison, Nebraska, and there's a little buck here that we're going to take home with us. He's going to add some good genetics to our herd. I think she just took last place. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. It's because her, uh, her memory is in school. Still right here is Tiger Lily, and she's the mama of the little buckling that we are going to take home today. He's a third behind the leg and a, a third in front of the leg. A uh, beautiful angle leg sack that we see so she walks easily around that mammary system. Our two-year-old, a strong mammary system on this stove. Um, I love the width in the mammary and how high the rear udder is into the escutcheon on this stove. Um, while still being feminine. Uh, our three-year-old, we see some good dairy strength on this stove. I love the length of ribbing that we're seeing. She's a very angular looking doe with a loose pliable skin. Um, and in general appearance, we see the good angle rear leg set and how she's walking forward on all of her feet. We come up to our four-year-old doe. I love the moderate size on this doe. She's walking forward with her brisket, giving her a pretty silhouette when we see her walk around the ring. She's, in her turn, she's angled in her rear leg set. We put our hands on her and she's got a lot of area of utter support. Our aged doe, our five-year-old at the head of the line, we see a lot of um, overall area of utter support. We see some femininity in this doe. Um, maybe not quite the smoothness of blending in the top line that we saw in the door behind her. This four-year-old be my senior champion today. Just really puts it all together, the maturity advantage, uh, the capacity in the manual system, more fresh things than the two-year-old doe, um, and the balance that we're seeing. So we'll bring in the second place, four-year-old doe. Okay, we're looking for our reserve. Uh, check in milking that Julia Dwarf doe. Uh, we just brought in our second place four year old. We I really love the structure to her mammary system, especially when we view the width and the, the rear udder, when viewed from the rear, um, and the placement of the teats. I love her angle to her leg set, but she's not as dairy um, as we see in the, some of the other does in the line, not as long in the neck or clean in the throat area as some of the other does. For me now, it's closest between my age doe at the top of the line and my two-year-old or even my yearling as we look there today for the strength of the mammary systems that we're seeing. I'm going to go for the advantage of the older animal that we see here today. Um, we just have a feminine doe in her dairy strength. She's sharper in the wither. We're seeing more angles, more length of rear rib. She's showing us the nice width in between so she's been able to walk around her mammary system nice. Um, I'd like to see her a little bit less full right now to really solidly do this when we're comparing, but she easily has more fresh things over the first fresh thing goes behind her. She's my reserve. Um, no, I don't want him to run away. He said he to catch him. <laughs> also, are we going to call him Galliant or Lynx? Probably Lynx because it's shorter. Lynx is shorter. All right. We well, saw his Going to have to get him loaded up. Yes. Yeah, well, we just got back from the goat show up at what was the name of that town Jimmy? Madison. There's a goat show up by Madison. While we were there we brought this pretty guy home and he's going to be our new herd sire here in another year or two. He's got some really nice genetics. Some buddies he's got to play with. There we go. Yeah. Okay, should we get the weather and put him in here? Okay, here we are, milking our own goats. Now, what thoughts do you have about this goat show we just were at, Kenny? Well, it's a pretty strong goat, but they're looking at nice animals there. And say we need to work on mammary system of factory, which is why we got that buckboard. I hear that. I always apologize.
Yep. Calling mommy. Is that your name? I think that's her name. Let's go see. Let's go see what the mommy calling is about. Are you stuck in the goat pen? Kind of stuck in here? Well, let's see. Why are you stuck in here? You're stuck in here because all the goats want to come through really badly. Margie, do you want to come in too? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get you guys through. That one doe, well, Whispering Tails Meadow. Meadow. She yeah. had the, the, such a nice big man race to the So well attached. I've never seen a Nigerian dwarf doe in person. person. It's a man that she's still like that. And so... Lots of, yeah. Yeah, that was really, that was quite something to but see. That's what we got was out of her, out of uh, another dome over like that. And she was there too. She's a really beautiful doe. She didn't feel terribly much before the show, but a bunch of her daughters were there too. So we got to see some half brothers of this new buffalo. goat show one of my kids came up to me and said mommy I don't see one goat here that's as fat as butterscotch is and I said yep you know I think you're right <laughs>